mourned the death of Migori Senator Ben Oluwoch. The first-time politician and former radio presenter died at the MP Shah Hospital last night after battling throat cancer. Rita Tinina reports. A microphone studio and the airwaves got Ben Oluwoch Okello known to many. As a presenter of Ramogi FM, his early morning show, Kogwengi Bo, attracted hundreds of fans. A following that may have propelled him when he ditched the studio for politics. Ben Olwoch, who studied at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, worked for KBC before joining Ramogi FM. He made his debut into politics, setting his sights on the Migori senatorial seat during the 2017 general election. And it was somewhat smooth sailing right from the ODM nominations. He later floored his opponents in the August 8th elections when he garnered 68,000 votes against his closest opponent, Gordon Odhiambo, who got 28,000 votes. Senator Ben Olochokelo is one of the people who truly was a product of uh, democratic choice. He was humble to the extent that uh, nobody thought that he could uh, mobilize the kind of support he got from the people of Migori. But the 55-year-old senator who was born in Kanyimach in Rongo only got to serve Migori constituents for 10 months. He died on Monday night at the Mpisha Hospital after battling throat cancer. His body was later moved to the Lee funeral home. <laughs> Legislators from across the political divide condoled with the family, many describing him as a humble and focused man. I remember in his maiden speech on 26th of September, one thing he had promised to do, the vision he had, was to ensure that funds going to Migori are used for the purposes for which they are intended. Uh, we want to pray and trust that uh, God will give, especially the family, the courage and the peace and comfort at this difficult moment. According to his family, he was recuperating at the MP Shah Hospital after returning from India, where he had sought treatment. Ben Olwoch served in various committees at the Senate, among them the Committee on Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, the Committee on Health, and the Committee on National Cohesion. Rita Tinina, KTA News. So those were some of his colleagues here in Nairobi just morning. Senator Ben Olwoch. Kevin Oguto is in Kisumu right now, but he spent the entire day in Migori. Kevin, good evening. Um, not a very good day for Migori residents. Talk to me about the reaction on the ground. Uh, very good evening, Linda. Actually, uh, the news of uh, Ben Oluochokelo, Senator for Migori's demise, threw the entire county into mourning. And uh, when KT and team uh, visited his Kanyimach village in Migori County, uh, it was mourning because this is one person who had mass massive following, uh, uh, which, is, which could be attributed uh, to the program that used to run at uh, uh, Radio Ramogi. Uh, so, Linda, uh, we went there, and uh, uh, this is the report that uh, we have from Migori. It was grief so unbearable, the death of the veteran broadcaster turned political. Kind. He, he, he put us together and everybody, we worked together with him and we are so sorry, we are touched. He uh, interpreted for our people the constitution, that is 2010. He has been engaging our leaders, the elected leaders, before he became the senator. And through that, he made the electorates engage with their leaders. Right now, we need to put our politics in hand. I've seen so many people coming up, they want to be senators, but what I would appeal is that Ben Oluochokelo was a peace, kind and loving person if you look at his history. Let us stay calm. His smile remains arrested in this portrait, a testimony of a man who kept his fans entertained and educated for years through his morning show on Radio Ramogi. No, no. But now, it is fit everyone has accepted. But because God has called him to rest, we just say thank you. When God gave him to us, we said thank you. 
When he became a senator, everybody celebrated. Kevin Ogutu, KTN News.